Hey guys, I want to introduce you to the Cast OG. Um, I'm super proud to help bring this bait here to America. It's something our fish have never seen. You hear that a lot. Every time a new lure comes out, it's something they've never seen. But this truly is a special bait because every time you cast this lure, it does a different thing. You're never going to have the same retrieve. Whereas most of our topwater baits are walking baits. They're always going to be have like a mechanical walk back and forth. When you cast this bait out, you can burn it down, it'll pop and come out of the water, it'll slash sideways, it dips under the water, and it really mimics a natural fish because a natural fish is not just gonna zigzag back and forth across the water. This bait was actually developed over in Australia. They use larger sizes for fish such as giant trevally, tuna, and stuff like that. But what we've learned is that it is super effective for all species of our bass here in America. This is the Cast OG. Okay, I want to show you guys exactly uh, the gear I have set up to fish the OG. This is the 30 gram OG. Uh, the most important thing I can tell you is to fish this bait on a very high gear ratio reel. Reason for that is you want to be able to burn this and stop it and you're going to get some incredible action with that fast gear ratio. I'm fishing this on a 7.6 Shimano X Pride medium heavy. I like the backbone of this rod, but it still has a soft enough tip to give and not pull treble hooks on the fish. And then the line I'm using is 17 pound fluorocarbon. Normally we do not use fluorocarbon for floating baits but because this is hand carved balsa it stays up on top of the water it doesn't affect affect the action um, I like the fluorocarbon because on the end of a long cast I can get really good hook penetration on a fish if they hit it at the end of my cast far away from me all right so I want to show you guys exactly how I'm working the 30 gram OG I tend to fish this in a little bit more aggressive than the uh, the 40 gram it's got a lot of really cool cut in action it'll pop out of the water and go back under but I want to show you the important part is having a very high gear ratio reel. I'm fishing this, I think this is a 7.1 uh, Metanium. This is 16 pound fluorocarbon, medium heavy rod. So I'm going to cast this out here and show you the exact uh, action that I'm doing. I get a lot of questions exactly what I'm doing. So if we can kind of show you guys here, then you'll be able to reference it. Uh, the good thing is this thing casts a mile too. So we're sitting in this little area and we're having fish come up around us chasing herring. And I'm able to get this bait right on top of them when they come up. So now that it's sitting out there, I'm pointing my rod directly at the bait, uh, maybe pointing it down towards the lake just a little bit, and I'm doing five or six turns really, really fast, really aggressive, and then going. Just like that. And that's causing that bait to come up, go back down, do bubble trails, all sorts of crazy stuff. And then I'll just stop it. Like right after I make those turns, just stop it and leave it there. And a lot of times, right after you do that, they're gonna hit it right when that bait pops back up. That is, that's a big one. Got the 30 gram ether out there. This one came up on it. That's a solid fish right there. That's probably close to four pound Lanier spot. So uh, it caused a lot of action. I'm really burning this across the top and then just doing, basically just killing it and letting it sit there and they crush it. They can't resist it when that happens and this is what you get. So I wanna tell you guys my favorite thing about the OG. It's not the action, it's not all this craziness. It's that out here on these blueback carrying lakes, these fish will come up a lot of times very far from the boat schooling and you can throw this thing two freaking miles. So I can sit here and wait, I can see a herring skip out of the water and get this bait all the way over there right on top of them right when I see that. Whereas before, some of my other top water baits, I just couldn't cast that far. But I mean, if you get the right rod, the right reel, you can almost spool yourself every time you cast this bait. And I think that that has definitely changed the game out here. Um, I'm able to now put a lot more fish in the boat because I can now hit those targets, hit those fish, they were always way too far away. So earlier we had some success when it was cloudy and overcast using the ether color. I like to use this color. I also like to use the bone color when it's overcast. Uh, now, as you can see out here, uh, it got really sunny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to the black pearl chrome. This color does really good when the sun is up. Um, I'll also use the herring. So I'm always switching my baits back and forth to give me the best chance of getting bit out here. 